welcome to Democrat Julie Lassa, the current 24th District State Senator from Stevens Point. She joins us from Milwaukee. And Senator, thanks very much for doing so. Thank you very much, Frederica. It's nice to be with you. Well, these are some pretty uh, big shoes to fill. Why are you the chosen to replace the Dean of Congress? Now, your opponent, as you well know, is literally a lumberjack, a district attorney, and an MTV star. Now, he, he's part of the anti-stimulus, anti-bailout, anti-health care reform, anti-tax uh, movement. How do you counter not just the persona, but the platform there? Well, I think there is a lot uh, to counter there. As a matter of fact, um, in uh, Wisconsin Rapids, there's a business. It's uh, Energy Composites. They're looking at building a factory in order to build uh, windmill blades for the clean energy uh, sector of our economy. And what I was able to do is take recovery zone facility bonds that were allocated to the state of Wisconsin uh, be able to pool those unallocated bonds to create uh, good paying family supporting jobs uh, and projects all across the state, including in Wisconsin Rapids, which has the potential of creating 600 new jobs. And that is something that when my likely uh, Republican opponent was uh, in Wisconsin Rapids a few weeks ago, uh, he was opposed to. And here we had uh, just down the road a paper facility that closed a few years ago uh, and put several hundred people out of work. So I think that there are a number of uh, issues there that um, we uh, and we will be talking about during the campaign. Now to Wausau, where we meet Republican candidate and Ashland County District Attorney, Sean Duffy. And Mr. Duffy, thanks very much for being here. Thank you for having me on. Let's talk about uh, stimulus uh, spending. Well, obviously you're opposed, but what would have happened to Wisconsin without it? Because as I understand it, it, it did maintain uh, the jobs of more than, or thousands of teachers and, and other uh, firefighters and police officers and, and things like that. Would you have been prepared to let those people lose their jobs? I, I think we have to look at the bigger picture here. What, what happens is um, we've put a Band-Aid on a, on a larger problem. We need a tax base uh, in our communities that can support our, our police officers and our firefighters and our school teachers. And uh, we see right now there's another bailout proposed um, for our uh, state systems and our local, our state governments and our local governments because we didn't focus on stimulating the actual economy. And when you have, uh, when you have growth in economies, you create jobs, and when you create jobs, you have an economic base that supports our schools and our law enforcement. Let me ask you this. Julie Lassa says that it's her belief that you were opposed to this project in Wisconsin Rapids that would have used uh, $45 million in, in stimulus funds to um, start a company that would build wind turbine blades and potentially employ 600 people. Now, you would be opposed to that kind of use of stimulus funding? We, I, I think what she's talking about is, you know, she's authored this Core Jobs Act. Um, and you have to take a, a look at this in perspective. Uh, she voted for $2 billion in tax increases and fee increases in the state of Wisconsin. And then she gave back $15 million uh, in, in, in targeted tax um, uh, breaks for businesses. And I think that's a positive thing. But if you break it down, it's like each uh, individual is taxed $2,000. Uh, in ta or they're, they're, they get tax increases of $2,000, then they get $15 back in stimulus money. It just it doesn't work and it doesn't make sense. But a new Gallup poll just out uh, suggests that 60% of Americans favor additional stimulus spending compared to 38% that oppose it. So how do you explain that? Well, I, I haven't seen the poll that you referenced. My only poll is I, I'm, I'm crisscrossing our district up here in northern Wisconsin talking to voters. And uh, the main concern is uh, the economy and job growth. But right under that is this, is this debt. And I, I think when we, when we look at uh, the $50 billion of stimulus spending uh, that's now being proposed by Mr. Obi, um, and it's going to be targeted towards teachers, I think that's a positive thing in the sense that we want to keep our teachers employed because uh, our kids are our future. And I am a father of six. I believe in that. But we have to pay for it. Um, we can't pass the bill off for their schooling uh, to, our, to our six and seven-year-olds when they get to be you know, in their 30s. And that's what we're doing. We, we can't pass this unsustainable debt off to them. And, and, and uh, this proposal right now does that. And, and what we've been talking about is an uncertainty, uh, not in the economy, but in government. And uh, our, the business leaders that I've spoke with, they've said, listen, we have, we have an environment where we don't know what it's going to cost to hire a new employee because we don't know what it's going to cost for health care. So because of this political uncertainty, 
our, uh, our businesses uh, aren't expanding and growing, and we're also seeing businesses that have laid folks off, they're not coming back to Wisconsin. Uh, they're going to other states, or they're going to China, or India, or Mexico. I have we need a positive business environment to uh, bring our jobs and our businesses back to Wisconsin.